vital tracer is bringing your health on your wrist as a healthcare firm the team has introduced a wristband that produces data that is capable of measuring human vitals such as ecg signal we have azade with us who is the ceo and co-founder at uh, vital tracer thanks a lot for joining in today azade it's my pleasure so we would you know we would love to know more about vital tracer and let's just start from the very basic so what what exactly are you building at uh, at vital tracer yeah so vital tracer is basically it's a medical startup which is concentrating on a wearable technology mm-hmm. and we are uh, trying to build a different devices which can we call it all in one devices which is measuring all vital signs so okay. our first device is a uh, vital tracer watch that we call it VT watch. Okay. So it has a VT lab and VT19. VT lab is our first product, which is concentrating on a research and clinical trial. So we are measuring all vital signs and give the, all the data and raw signals to the uh, medical doctors, clinicians, nurses, and as well as the professor, which is more concentrating on the research area. Mm-hmm. So they can concentrate on their own medical application, and we are providing all the details for them in terms of the hardware technology and software for the vital signs. So we have a couple of researchers who bought this device, uh, which is basically MVP right now available for sale, uh, okay. which is um, for sleep apnea, for senior monitoring in nursing home, for dementia, for COVID-19 detection, uh, okay. or like more health management in the seniors. Okay, COVID-19 as well, like... So in the time of the COVID-19, it's still like a clinical trial to test um, seniors to see that Mm -hmm. if they can detect it at the early stage. So we are measuring all vital signs, specifically oxygen level, uh, heart rate, body Mm -hmm. temperature, respiratory rate, and see that if something abnormality goes high or low, then it can alarm. Mm-hmm. And um, nurse will go and check again with the other devices. And if he, he or she detects that there is abnormality, they can go right away for the test of COVID. Oh, okay, awesome. I think that if, if you can, if that becomes successful, that would be a, give, that would be a big, big breakthrough, I guess. That, yeah. That's true. It would be yeah. a very big game changer as well. Right, right, right. Awesome. And uh, you would probably have been asked this question before a lot of times, but how is how is this different from you know a lot of variables that are coming out in the market uh, right. these days? Yeah. yeah. So you know you can compare us with a couple of categories. So mm-hmm. basically, first the falls um, people would love to hear what's our difference between. Apple Watch, Fitbit, Samsung, um, mm-hmm. yeah, um, they are not a medical device specifically. They are more okay. gadget. Right. So we are concentrating as a medical device, which the accuracy is guaranteed. So they, they okay. you can compare with the other medical devices, mm-hmm. and they specifically not measuring a blood pressure. Um, and we do, do do that as well. So we, we have a clinical trial testing our technology at the ICU level with the ICU device as a gold standard to mm-hmm. see that um, it, it has the same accuracy with the medical device. Okay. So we, we are a medical device, they are not. Uh, we, are, we have a blood pressure and they don't. We uh, we can also localize our cloud for the hospital and senior homes. So uh, all the confidential information for the patient is going to keep in the hospital cloud. So mm-hmm. it's very vital for Quebec province and all Canada specifically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. So these are our main uh, value proposition and difference between us. But on the other hand, there are other medical devices like a, a blood pressure monitoring uh, device, different brands. So they are cuff-based. Cuff goes around the arm, inflate and deflate. And um, so um, it's a cuff-based, so it's not possible to monitor it continuously. And it can not alarm in, in terms of the health management, in terms of the abnormality. And it's only specific for a one measurement, which means that it's only measuring for blood pressure and heart rate and not other parameters at the same time. So we are all mm -hmm. in one. Okay, okay. And for you, the consumers are uh, people who need to measure these vitals because of a medical condition or anyone who, you know, just want to be uh, more on the cautious side and uh, want to keep a tab on on all these uh, uh, human vitals. Right. Uh, so our business model is selling only B two B, which means okay. that we are directly selling to the hospitals for post surgery okay. monitoring patients and mm -hmm. to senior homes for monitoring the seniors. Um, but in terms of the other users, we are concentrating other in a institute, but still not the individual person. Okay, 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 understood. And uh, Azadi, you would love to know more about uh, your background as well. So, you know, what, what has been your journey in the last uh, 10 to 12 years, which, you know, led to the uh, foundation of, uh, of Vital Tracer? Sure. Um, so I have a bachelor, master, and PhD all in biomedical engineering. And okay. since uh, 2010, I started my master at the University of Ottawa with this specific topic to have a different blood pressure monitoring device. Okay. Um, so I was concentrating to find all the issues with the, the accuracy in terms of the accuracy of the current blood pressure device. And I find that all of them are cuff based and I find cuff as a main source of error because okay. it's inflate and deflate. So it put a lot of pressure on the muscle to squeeze mm -hmm. the vessel. And I find it's uncomfortable and right away it changed the blood pressure. And okay. um, so I find that, okay, if I can try to remove the cuff and make it cuff less, then I yeah. also able to make it continuous monitoring. So I right. come up with lots of different methods, but at the end I come up with the using the optical sensor and AI technology in mm -hmm. 2013 and then i um, graduated in 2014 and then i continue with my phd with the same professor same university same topic and then right. uh, we were able to finish this project and uh, i'm still phd candidate uh, i couldn't find the time to write my thesis to defense but the good part that we were able to establish uh, my startup at the same time and have a really good progress. Okay, okay. And I can understand, like, I think you are handling multiple responsibilities. You are a mom as well. That's and, right. Yeah. yeah. And then running this startup. So, yeah, things could get uh, a bit uh, challenging there. And uh, that sort of brings me to my next question. Like, this journey obviously wouldn't have been an easy one, I can imagine. So, but, but what have been, you know, some of your biggest challenges and uh, if I put it otherwise, like what advice would you give to entrepreneurs who are just getting started now? I would say it's, uh, they have to be patient, super mm -hmm. patient, super mm -hmm. passionate about it. Right. And um, don't listen to all the advices because sometimes, mm -hmm. uh, the advices are very good, but sometimes they are very disappointed as well. Right. So I uh, like at the, the the beginning of 2010 until 2018, mm -hmm. no one's believed me that this is gonna be possible. Uh, okay, that's and a long time. even uh, for my research part from the 2010 to 2014, no one's believed me that it's possible until I finished my defense in my master and I had a proof of concept that this is possible. Okay. So um, 
I had a lot of uh, like a team of the professors who did not believe me, team of the medical doctors who is expert in a hypertension, mm -hmm. but they are senior and they don't like uh, new technologies that they did not believe me. Right. But I still have a, like a moral goal to help mm -hmm. uh, parents to live longer, safer and independent. So I did not listen to those advices. Oh, and okay. still, I, I, I hear the lots of people say that you are not going to be successful in terms of building your own startup. You need to sell your software uh, AI technology for blood pressure to the other bigger company. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I, I believe in myself and my passion. Awesome. I mean, that's a great advice, like not to listen to all the advices that you get. Yes. Yeah. However, we have uh, like mm -hmm. a different mentors in our life for uh, our journey as well that they right. always believe in us and I really mm -hmm. appreciate them. And they mm -hmm. keep saying that don't listen to all advices, <laughs> but you listen yeah. to those advices at the <laughs> same time that right. they, they, uh, they help us in terms of the uh, entrepreneurship journey to understand about a business, to understand the market, how to do the strategy analysis and so on. So in some cases, like the good one, you need to listen, the bad right. one, don't listen. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's an art to, you know, filter out uh, those good advices. Like, I think you, you get to know that by experience only, like there's no rule book for that, like which advices to listen to and which one to just, just filter out. Right. But, uh, Great advice there, <laughs> I guess. And uh, lastly, Azadeh, so I want to know like what lies ahead for for Vital Tracer. Like you're working on a lot of things, solving uh, a lot of uh, you know essential uh, vital human problems. So, what what does it look like for you guys in the next uh, two to three years? Yeah. So we are um, we are doing lots of things, as you said, uh, this year and next year. Um, so. We believe that we are at the end of the next year, which is at the end of 21, we are going to be definitely 100% in a market. Okay. Right now we are in a market of only academic and researchers, but then in 21, we are able to sell to the hospital and senior homes. Right. So um, I, I believe that at the end of the day, it would be a two product in terms of the watch and in terms of the patch on a chest. So mm -hmm. it will be help the patients and seniors to monitor all the vital signs and in terms of not only COVID, but other mm -hmm. viruses, it can detect, uh, detect uh, like a, not like a cold, but influenza in the early stage, if something happens. And okay. the good part that it can also alarm and like it, you can share the data with your caregiver, like your children mm -hmm. or your nurses and they can call you to check if you are feeling okay so mm -hmm. it will give a peace of mind to the caregiver to the parents at the same right. time it's very transparent health management at the senior homes okay okay perfect i mean uh, i'm really inspired by by your grit and determination i mean when you say it looks like a very small time period you say it like pretty casually 2010 to 14 no one agreed in 2010 to 18 but i can imagine like each day would have been you know a struggle there so kudos yeah. to you on like your grit and determination on you know like uh, staying tough during that period and and believing in something i think that that's really important so that's true. And yeah. So thanks a lot for doing that. And you know, like because of that, we we have like a few great products that are uh, ready to be launched next year. And would definitely yeah. help. And yeah. I would like to thank you, my husband, who supports me in the all right. this journey, and my yeah. team, co-founder Zara, Ali, and Abu Zara, that. They are mm -hmm. always supportive. Whenever I get it, like there are lots of times that uh, you get it so sad or upset or disappointed, right. but yeah. they keep saying that, okay, these are, these challenges are coming in and coming out and you can right. make it like, yeah, of course. Okay. Let's, let's forget it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah, no. I really appreciate all the people, friends mm -hmm. and family around me to support me in a, every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm.
uh, appreciate you mentioning their names as well like those are uh, i'm i'm sure those they would have played a vital role in this journey as well that's true so uh thanks a lot azade for for sharing all those insights with us thank you for having me today